Confessions number 48 is Demetrius, Alabama meat. Mm. Y'all, Demetrius was this handsome man. When I tell you this brother was fine, he was so fine. Demetrius was fine, but he had a little attitude problem. But he was still fine. You know, he's like one of them guys that they look so good, you just let them get away with anything. Demetrius was a sweetheart, though. Underneath all that rough interior was a man who wanted to be loved and a man who wanted a family but just didn't know how to get that because of his rough upbringing. Now, he grew up in the streets of Alabama, so you know that's some rough territories down in there. And he had just pulled time, about 12 years, for drug trafficking. And he wasn't sure what he really wanted. And it kind of seems like he really wanted to still continue with doing the drug thing. You know, he he, he finally had served his time, got out, and was just looking for someone to kill time with, I guess. But he seemed like he was still, may have been still trying to do some of those illegal activities, and that's what tore me me and him apart. Now, he didn't know me as who I am right now. He knew me as Jada, so I have to call him another one of Jada's men. Jada had the good-looking men. He, she had the men who just didn't mind digging into her mind now Demetrius let me tell y'all how he looked he was six foot one and he loved to wear khaki pants and he kind of favored the younger version of Master P kind of talked like him too come to think about it I met him on live links and he come off pretty much as a thug. And I really didn't believe he was a thug at first. But then once I started getting to know him, that's when I realized he really was a thug. I mean, he really was into those activities that he was saying. And I always wondered why that man go on the chat line and here he had money and he could get any woman he wanted on the outside why would he need the chat line? Well, here's the answer, what he told me. He said, I can get any woman I want, but sometimes I want to try somebody outside of what I'm used to because I really do want to get out of this lifestyle. And right now, this lifestyle just calls me back. Demetrius' reason for going on the chat line was that he could do and say things to women on the chat line and that he felt was disrespectful to a woman that he would be currently living with. The things he would say and want to do was not what he would want to say and do with his wife. And I found that it's a lot of guys that are like that. It's things that they can say to women on the chat line that they cannot say to their wives. And these things are, it's degrading things. And, and they are ashamed of it and can be embarrassed by it. And they feel like women from the chat line, <laughs> because they don't know them, you know, who can they tell? They can't tell anybody because nobody really knows who who is. On the chat line. And that's why he always went to the chat line. So that he could pretty much talk and degrade women how he wanted to. But Jada had a... he had Jada had a... Um, he had a soft spot for Jada. Because I would speak up as Jada. And i say, look, don't talk to me like that. I'm a woman. Don't talk to me like that. And just because I'm on the chat line does not mean I don't need to be respected. And after getting on him a couple of times, he finally got the picture and he started doing better. But it still didn't change the fact that I was thinking, this is how some men really feel. 
Some men really feel like I can't be a freak with the one I'm with. So I have to go get somebody else. Somebody who I know is down with it. And more, more, more so that I can freak with and disrespect. So some of these guys that come out of the hood that get on these chat lines, they go and they do disrespect to women in a respectful way. (laughs) <laughs> that might sound strange, but that's exactly how it rolls. They can disrespect you in a respect, respectful way and still hold their street credit because nobody knows they're doing it. It would be sometimes guys would have these um, chat parties at their house and they'd all be listening in. The same thing we were doing as women, the guys were doing the same thing too. And that's how he was. He could get on the chat line and probably have three, four of his homeboys beside him. And he'd be just a degrading women. And to them, that was the highlight of their party. To degrade women. As if they was in person, they couldn't. They couldn't do a woman they was really with like that. They just felt that because they didn't know the woman that they had a right to degrade women. I remember some battles like that that me and my girls had went up against. Um, it would be us against them. They'd be it. It just be kind of like middle school shenanigans, like all these like picking on one another. And that wasn't right. But Demetrius, I finally got the picture of Demetrius. Demetrius didn't stay in my life long because Demetrius ended up going right back to prison for selling drugs. So we did about all we could do. And like I said, his thing was he wanted a woman who he could disrespect respectfully.